Hello and welcome to Pep Cloud. Today we're going to talk about creating an estimate, a new estimate. So we choose our client, we create a new estimate by clicking on a new estimate button. We name the job, we're going to call it exterior, exterior repaint. The job number, we're going to give it a job number. Job description, we're going to paint this house. Rest of our information is already here, so we're going to click the done button. And then we're going to, we have our general information, so we're going to go to the area because our screen now changed to our exterior repaint. So go into our area. And we're going to start with a new area, and the area will be the front of the house. And it's in our list, so instead of typing it, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to start my estimate. So I'm going to go into a new item. And the first thing I'm going to bid on is the body. So body of house. And I'm going to charge by the square foot. And I'm going to choose um, a square foot item, which for me is clapboard siding. And then I'm going to choose what style clapboard siding, which would be shiplap and smooth. And then I'm going to choose an application, which is brush. And again, I hit done. So now I have my general information. Now I need the length. So let's say the front of the house is 24 feet long by uh, 15 feet high. And if I need more measurements, I just click here and I'm going to add another 10 foot by 10 foot. The steps, it's going to be a three step process. The color of the house is going to be white so instead of leaving it front of house body color I'm going to change it to white and at the same time I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add my material so I'm going to use a product called well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime it so I'm going to go and choose a product from my list and I will click a fresh coat primer application I'll let it go to the default the color will be white and it's going to be one step for primer coat now I don't have to figure out the gallonage because I told it the square footage the program will automatically calculate it then I'm going to add a new material because after I prime I'm going to use Super Paint Flat Latex House Paint, my application. Actually, you know, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a Duration Satin instead. My application is going to be by brush, and the color is going to be white. So I'm going to type that in. And again, because it knows the square footage, I only have to tell it how many steps or coats to, and I'm done. So now I'm going to now I'm done with this whole page. I don't need to add any more material, so I click done again. And here's my square footage. It's 460. Here's the formula I used. Here's the hours it's going to take, the labor it's going to cost. And so if I go over here to my estimate and actually click on to look at my material, here's my material. Here's my primer and my top coat and it gives me my unit pricing which I put into the program so I have my cost now I'm going to look at the cost of the whole job so I have my overhead my profit my tax on labor the same with on material if I look at a proposal I click on proposal and I can choose to to show I don't have any pictures to show so I'm going to unclick that I'm done here as it populates the screen I click on preview it's going to show me the proposal here's my company information 
the address of the company or the client that I'm working for, front of the house, body, square footage, number of steps, the cost. So here's my labor, my material, and my grand total. It is that easy to do an estimate in PEP. Thank you for your time. Please try the PEP Estimating Cloud program and you'll see how easy it is to work in your company.